It can take as long as 20 years to get a drug all the way from the developmental stage to the patient. So synthetic chemists such as myself are working hard to try and reduce that time. You first need to obtain those molecules, modify them to make them more interesting, do some biological testing, and then finally clinical trials. One of the reasons that this process takes so long is the difficulty of obtaining those bioactive compounds from their natural sources. There are a number of methods that we use to do that, and I'd like to tell you about three. The first, original method, is called extraction. You take the flowers, grind them up in a solvent, and then separate out the bioactive compounds using a variety of chemical techniques. It does, however, have a major drawback. Imagine this. If we were to fill this theater with daffodils, all the way to the ceiling, spilling out those doors, we would barely have enough material to obtain just a single drop of our desired compound. That is obviously impractical on an industrial scale and tantamount to immoral to destroy that many flowers for so little gain. Scientists have sought to find a better way. The second method is called partial synthesis. It begins with an extraction method like the first, but then you do a series of chemical modifications in order to get to a bioactive compound. This is particularly useful in medicinal chemistry research as it allows us to modify really complex starting materials to discover potentially new pharmaceuticals. However, it does still start with that extraction step. Yep, that means we need to fill this leisure theatre with daffodils again. Thankfully, there is a third and more practical method called total synthesis. And that's where my research comes into play. Total synthesis is the art of making a molecule from scratch in the laboratory without the need to destroy our natural source. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. I know what my final product looks like, but I get to decide how I'm going to cut it up to make my jigsaw pieces and then in what order I'm going to take those pieces and put them back together again. In order to make these cuts, I use chemical reactions. Now, of course, I, I can't just cut it up any way I like. There are rules which govern what I can and can't do. We'll call them the laws of nature, if you will. But once I've decided what my jigsaw pieces look like, I then need to work out what chemical reactions to use in order to fit them back together again. And that is a major part of this puzzle. Thankfully, we already have a few clues. Mother Nature has had millions of years to perfect the way that these compounds are made. All we have to do as synthetic chemists is mimic those biological processes in order to get the best out of our synthetic strategies. I love nature. I love puzzles. So I, I was naturally drawn towards a total synthesis project. The thought of doing research which betters humanity, but doesn't destroy nature at the same time, that really appealed to me. If my research succeeds, better yet, if I can find a way to make these kinds of molecules faster than they're currently made, then they will reach that biological testing phase quicker, and we might find new solutions to our global health issues sooner. In my laboratory, I've devised an entirely new way to make two key compounds which are originally extracted from daffodils. It turns out that after more than three years of postgraduate study, I've designed over a dozen completely original compounds. That is to say that these molecules, they might not exist anywhere else in the entire world than in my lab. I think that's pretty cool. Don't know what they might do, though. Now, this is a lengthy process, and my research is just one piece of a much larger jigsaw puzzle. But I think that the clues are there and that we're on the right track. Working in harmony with nature rather than exploiting her is a noble pursuit. This kind of research allows us to extract Mother Nature's wisdom while leaving her beauty intact so that we may all 
enjoy the fresh scent of daffodils. Thank you.